This is the Tory Burch Lee Radziwill double bag. I've seen quite a few videos on this bag and I've read a lot about it and a lot of people compare this bag to the Hermes Kelly bag or the Fendi Peekaboo. Well, I have a Fendi Peekaboo and I have a bag that looks an awful lot like an Hermes Kelly bag, so we're gonna compare those today. But wait, there's more. I also have a bag that looks an awful lot like an Hermes Birkin and I think the Radziwill double bag looks more like the Birkin than the other two. I also have another surprise bag to show you that also has things in common and with this bag. Who's right? Who's wrong? And is this bag a great alternative for the more expensive ones? We'll talk about all that in this video, so stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So yes, lots of comparisons between the Tory Burch Lee Radziwill double bag and the Peekaboo and the Kelly, but I think it looks more like the Birkin. So which is it? And what is the other bag I have to show you? Well, let's start with the comparisons and why they're compared. Well, first of all, I think the most obvious comparison to the Hermes bags is the metal buckle here and the sangles, because of course these have that and that's a very defining characteristic of those Hermes bags, as well as a few others. On the Radziwill bag, the sangles connect to that fastener magnetically. They come apart very easily, and they can just hang there and look very casual and chic and elegant. On the Birkin and Kelly, it's a little more complicated. You have to turn the latch, you have to take one of them off, which can be a little cumbersome sometimes. They're very fussy and then they can hang like that. It's easiest on the Kelly bag, or you do the same thing with a Birkin, but then you have to slide it out of these hooky things, and then they hang like that. But you can also undo the flap and then have that bag open like this. By the way, just so we're clear, neither of these are fakes. They don't say Hermes anywhere on them, and they were both sent to me years ago. And I don't use either of them anymore. This one is up for sale and this one is covered in dust. So yes, this one you can take the flap off. You guys know how Birkins work. The sangles can just hang there and look casual and chic. I think where people think this bag looks more like the Kelly than the Birkin is because of the top handle because they both have that curved top handle. Whereas the Birkin has the two handles. The Fendi Peekaboo also has that top handle like the Radziwill and they have another thing in common. Well, first of all, you do have a metal clasp right here. This one is very easy to just twist undone and then pull the bag open. And one of the features the Peekaboo is known for, and my bag, because of what it's made of, doesn't do this so well, but it's made so that this front flap can hang down and just be loose and casual chic like that. And you can see the interior material which on many peekaboos is a different color and a different material. So it makes for a very interesting look. And that is very much like the Radziwill double bags, which have two pieces of leather up front and are made so that they are to be floppy. And this one hangs down. It's not cooperating very well at the moment. There you go. It hangs down so you can see the interior leather, which again are often different colors and different textures to add interest. Where I think the Radziwill bag is more like the Birkin is in the overall shape. Both are very boxy bags, whereas the Kelly is more of a trapezoid. It's wider on the bottom, more narrow on the top, as is the Peekaboo. Wider on the bottom, more narrow at the top. The Birkin is a rectangle. It is the same width at the bottom as it is at the top. And when you open it up all the way, it's a rectangle on the sides too, with the top being the same width as the bottom. And that's how the Radziwill bag is. When you hold this up, it's a big rectangle, both from the front and back, but also when you extend the sides, it's rectangular there as well. Of course, you can cinch this bag and the Birkin and the Kelly to make them more narrow at the top, but that's just another thing it has in common with the Birkin. Whereas the Kelly, even when it is wider, is really meant to be more narrow at the top. And you'd be able to see that easier if this was a more pliable leather, but this particular one is very structured. Another thing the Radziwill bag has in common 
than with the peekaboo is that they both have a center divider. So the bag is basically two giant compartments or two small compartments, depending on the size of your bag. The peekaboo and the Kelly also have the option of carrying these with a detachable shoulder strap. The Birkin does not have that. The Radzawil bag does. And the petite size, which is this tiny little thing, comes with a crossbody strap. That's another thing to note. The Radzawil bag comes in three sizes, the regular size, the petite, and the small. And the Hermes bags and the peekaboo come in many different sizes. Now I mentioned I have one more bag to show you to compare with this one. And that is this, the Teddy Blake Kiara bag. I'll give you a little spin of this and I'll have this linked below as well as the Radzawil bags and some peekaboos for you. I can also list some authentic Hermes. First of all, let me say about this bag. I've had it for a couple months now. Teddy Blake sent this to me. I have a discount code for them below too. I love this bag. I initially had a couple of complaints about the hand that could be made nicer and the material on the inside which is a man-made material instead of their suede but I tell you what I've carried this a few times and I love it and I want more of these in more colors it has the same shape as the peekaboo and it has not a turn lock, but locks at the top. If you undo those, you have the sangles, just like the rad's will, and the top handle. It also has a crossbody strap. And when you open this up, you have two compartments, just like the peekaboo and the rad's will. I think the Kiara bag looks most like the peekaboo and the Kelly, and not at all like the Birkin, but it does have those things in common with the rad's will bag. And in terms of price of all these bags, this Teddy Blake one is certainly the cheapest. I think it runs about five or six hundred dollars, whereas this size Radzawil bag is going to run you about a thousand, sometimes more. This particular one was about $1,500 and I got it on sale for about 1100. The peekaboos will be much more than that if you buy them new. I got this one pre-loved for an incredible price under a thousand dollars. I think it was something like 745 ridiculous. And there are lots of them that you can find. I'll have some linked below under a thousand, but most are going to be over. If you're more budget conscious, but you still want a high end bag, great quality, easy to use. This isn't as fussy as I thought it would be, neither is this. This one is more casual. This is a little more fussy than this one because of the because of the way that the straps attach here. But these are fabulous options for you. Oh, and talking about price, we won't even mention Hermes prices. Anyway, these are two fabulous options for you. They're not inexpensive, but they're certainly a lot less expensive than the luxury brands. And I would say 100% the Radzawil bags from Tory Burch are luxury quality. Not everything from Tory Burch is, I would say most isn't. These for sure are. Also, if you're looking for variety and color and materials and textures, I would say that Tory Burch and Fendi are gonna give you the most of that. Fendi will give you more than Tory Burch will, but you can find a lot of variety in the Radzawil bags. Fendi, I mean, you can find the plain leather, you can find different variations of the colors of leathers inside and outside like you can on Radzawil. Beads and embroidery and fluff and all, just, I mean, anything you can think of that you've ever seen on a bag, you'll probably find at Fendi. So if variety and uniqueness are important to you, that's the way to go. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope to see you back here soon and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.